name is Dr. Haisha, and I'm truly being the mommy dentist today because my son, hi Nicholas, hi. is here on our day off so that we can make him a sports guard. Why is that? Because I play flag football, I need a mouth guard. You do, you do. So even though flag football is a non-contact sport, injuries still happen, whether it be elbowed or run into somebody just by accident. So we need to protect the teeth. Now, a lot of patients ask me, can they just get an over-the-counter uh, mouth guard? And that's fine, but I'm always gonna recommend a custom-made one because it's gonna fit better, and if it fits better, the kids, the athletes can you know, speak to their teammates when they're on the field or court, and they'll wear it, it'll be more comfortable, and if you don't wear it, it's not gonna protect you. You know, you see Steph Curry sometimes on the, on the court, and he's just chewing on his mouth guard, that's probably not gonna be the best fit. So we want to be ready for any injuries and prevent injuries to the teeth, the gums, the tongue, the, the cheek, everything. So a few things really quick on uh, how mouth guards protect not only the teeth but also protect from concussion is when we have the upper um, impression made, which we're going to show today, we're going to have a final result, result of, of the rubber base mouth guard. Can you open for me, sweetie? That's going to fit on the upper teeth only. And this thickness of the rubber helps to protect the sharp edges of the teeth to prevent lacerations to the lip, the tongue, the cheek. It also protects impact to the mouth, direct to the jaw, it protects the jaw joint and the jaw fracture. But how it protects from a concussion is the lower jaw articulates or matches up with the base of the skull. So I'll kind of open and close your mouth there, hon and close. So it opens up the bite to absorb the shock waves. Should he get impacted from below the chin, then all that force goes up, hits the skull, and can shake the brain and cause a concussion. So by having that extra protection, the extra cushion, it helps to prevent the concussion. So of course you would want to protect your athlete from that. So I think we're ready to make an impression. No, this is his favorite part. So we'll be right back. Okay, so many of you know about imp dental impressions. You either had one, maybe at the orthodontist when you were getting braces, but the dentist or the dental assistant will have some trays to try on. And then once we um, get the impression, we're actually just impressing the teeth to get a mold of it. Uh, so we can send it to the lab and the lab will pour it up in plaster and you'll get a model of your teeth like this. These aren't Nicholas's teeth, but that's what it will look like when it comes back from the lab and at the lab, they have a, a vacuum machine that will melt some rubber plastic um, and it will suck onto it to conform exactly to all the teeth so you get that custom fit. All right, you ready? So let's try on this tray. Open big ah, and it's gonna go in just like this on the side and up all the way to the top because we wanna get all the impression material up uh, oh, under the lip like that so we get a good, good mold. Okay, all right, so let's see how we mix it up. So we have the powder ready and we have the water and so we're going to mix it up. And this is a color changing indicating alginate material. So when you, there you go. You see it's kind of a lilac color and we have about 35 seconds or so to get it all mixed up. So we wanna get it a nice and smooth consistency. So I'm going pretty quickly, going around, 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 around. And this is great for you. Perspective dental students, you know, I want you guys to join the club and be a dentist. So nice and smooth there. So it's lilac. We need to get it into the tray at this stage. Here we go. And just load it in like this all the way around. So starting to turn pink, so I've got to get going like that. All right, put a little bit on the top here. And then Nicholas, get ready. We're gonna come on in. Thank you. And say, ah. And go up from the back and then push forward in the front. And there you go. So it only takes a few seconds to set up. So I usually take a little bit off so we can have some on our finger. So once it goes from pink to a lighter white, then it will turn from that mushy consistency. See how it's pulling up until it becomes rubbery. Once it gets rubbery, then we're ready to take it out. And you're doing great. Nicholas is an awesome patient. But if your kiddo is gagging or has a fix, um, kind of excited gag reflex, we can always tell them to breathe through your nose. I do a lot of distraction like wiggle your left toe. Can you wiggle your left toe? And raise your right foot. There you go. And then I'll say wave with your left hand and wiggle your nose and all that happens so quickly. They're kind of distracted and the gagging kind of subsides. 
So let's check it again. Look, not mushy mushy. It's getting all rubbery. And so time to take it out. You were awesome. So let's get ready to we'll unseal it. And then you'll hear the suction. <laughs> and then, oh, that is so wonderful. So it looks just like that. Perfect, 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 Nicholas. He did great. Okay, we're gonna pour it up and get it ready for the lab. Thank you. I owe him. Okay, so here is Nicholas's impression, alternate impression. You might notice this is a different tray just because we uh, had done one before our first take, but I like this one because it got all the way up in the fold of his uh, lip there so that we can get a nice custom fit when the lab gets it and um, forms his horse guard. So now we're gonna pour it up in our stone. So we have a water stone powder mix and we're gonna kind of mix it a little bit here. We'll probably do a little bit and then I'm gonna let Nicholas have a little chance to start mixing it up and see how this works. And then after we start uh, getting a good mix, then we're gonna put it on our titrator. Listen to it. It vibrates, so you'll see once we get more water in here, it'll get rid of all the bubbles. Okay, so I turned it over to Nicholas. It's first time ever mixing up the stone. So we're gonna get it nice and creamy. Okay, that looks good. So let's turn on our titrator here. So Nicholas, put it on top of here. And you guys love to see, you're gonna see bubbles coming to the surface. up initially we're gonna make a little base for our impression so let's just rest this here now I'm gonna add just a little bit more powder okay so I'm gonna make a base now for our stone model so I'm taking our same mixture and just adding a little bit more stone in there see kids don't you want to be a dentist when you grow up okay and I'm going to mix it so this is gonna be a thicker consistency to be as a base when we say setting up, we're allowing that, that means when it's gone to a liquid state, to a hard, solid state. I'm getting it pretty good. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, let's make it a little bit smoother. So now, look, it comes like that and it's not too runny. We're gonna get our little glass slab here. And this is a fun part. If you like art, you'll love dentistry. Dentistry is great because it combines art and sciences. You know, there's a lot of medical uh, education you have in dentistry, but also there's a lot of artistic part of it. Okay, so now we just made our little model here. It's like a little patty. See my patty? And then we should check on our other, see how it's feeling. Still looks a little bit, a little bit liquidy. All right. So here's that palette. So I'm gonna add a little bit more that's a little bit thicker to the top. So then, then we'll flip it over here and then it'll set up over, over a few minutes. Okay, so we added a little bit more here. Give a little bit of height to it. So, and it's set up initially. So if I flipped it, it won't run out. I'm gonna flip this so it goes onto my base like this. You can kind of come in from this angle. And then look, I'm just gonna this just a little bit and bring it up to meet one another. Do, do, do. This is where we have a nice background music we should put in, huh, Nick? <laughs> do, 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 do. Cool. All right. Got that, got that, got that. All right, so when we come back, you'll get to see Nicholas's mold and, or cast, I should say, and um, we will be sending it to the lab. So we can show you the final part. Come a little bit closer. Okay. All right. Awesome. Okay. We're here to check on the pour up to see if it's ready to separate. And it's been about 30 minutes, right, Nicholas? So I want you to feel it. Feel the stone. What do you feel? 
like kind of warm. It's kind of warm. So that is actually the chemical reaction taking place. Just changing it from, you know, that liquid state to a solid. So we're closed, it's, now that it's warm, once it is cold, we'll be able to separate it because then the reaction will come to completion. Okay, we'll check back. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes since we last checked. Why don't you go ahead and feel it now and see what it feels like. It's cold. Is it cold? Yeah. Perfect, so it's ready. So when we separate it, I have just a little knife just to kind of separate the, uh, the tray from our stone so it can come apart easily. So I'm just chipping away at it like that. There we go. There we go. Good, good, good. Voila. Okay. And then we come in. Can you see here? We're going to kind of tease at it and get it in there. Voila. And then, oh, the impression is still on. So I'll take that off. Okay, right here it is. Voila, Nicholas, you did such a great job pouring it up. There are the teeth, see? And then we'll probably peel back a little bit of the plaster so they can really get a good seal for the sports guard. All right, well, it'll take a week or so to get it back, but we'll check back in so you can guys, so everyone can see the final product, okay? Thank you, Nicholas, for all your help. Love you.